Hey guys, it's me again, and I'm back with another video. Now, with this video, it's going to be a cheap art supply challenge. I've seen a lot of people do these type of challenges, so I decided that I was going to do one. So, right here we have a, pic a sketch that I did with Hatsune Miku. And our cheap art supply that we're going to use is Crayola um, crayons. We're going to use Crayola crayons, the 24 set, and we're going to go ahead and use these to create our little masterpiece here. Now, with this type of challenge, is actually going to be one of the hard, one of the most hardest challenges because I have a hard time using cra Crayola colored crayons or however you want to apprehend them. But I think this is going to be a lot of fun, and plus it's supposed to show that you don't need expensive art supplies just to become an artist. Now our next cheap art supply is that we also have um, on Hatsumi Goo copy paper. So let's go ahead and get started and let me pick out my colors that I will first start out using as well because you always need to do that especially when you're drawing Hatsumi Goo. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So right now I'm just doing a base for the neck area of it being just a brown color. And it doesn't always have to be completely and totally perfect. You just get to mess around, play around with it, see how it goes, and all that good stuff. And I think that this actually is be this cheap art supply challenge is going to be a lot of fun. And that right now it actually is becoming to be a lot of fun. So... I'm going to go ahead and make this sh part her shaded area. A little bit of highlights as well so that we can add a little bit of highlights to her facial features. Then we're going to go over with a orange color. Now, I think this also helps out a lot so that you can expand and widen your horizon on like what art supplies you like the most and what's, which ones you're like okay with. And I'm used to using markers. Started out with Crayola markers when I first started out, but you know, it's like interesting how you first start out with something that you you're used to and then you start something different a little bit it's coming along actually really good so far I'm just blending it in with my skin toned And looks pretty nice. Looks pretty nice. Um, let's go.
go ahead and darken this area a little bit. Let's go ahead and start doing the lips. I made it a little bit. Let's see. I think this is better. You guys can see it better that way. But um, now I'm gonna go ahead and do the eyes now. Just give it that waxy look a little bit. I'm not going to use any pens or anything. I'll use that on my next video. Now I'm going to just blend it all in with my lighter blue. Now, let's do the rest of her skin a little bit. But, um, I think this is good for everyone. I think you guys should try it out. Um, if you ever want me to pick people to be challenged, go ahead and comment below and I'll choose three people that'll 
have to accept this challenge. And you can also tag up somebody in it and also choose another three people. But yeah, this is actually a lot of fun. I would recommend doing it. It's really interesting how you can use practically almost any type of artwork or cheap art supply and make it look at least good with good way decent enough to be like very creative. But, um, what else can I talk about? Um, I think that it'll be interesting when it fully comes out on how it looks and everything. And it'll be really cool once it comes out how it will look and how it will come out. I think it'll come out awesome, but also very unique in a way just to be a little different for once. I decided to go ahead and do this. Just to give more momentum in a way. But, uh, yeah, um, what else? I'm trying to think. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to think of what to tell you, talk to you guys about, about the Cheap Art Supply Challenge. Well, basically, the Cheap Art Supply challenge like I said most probably earlier is that is to prove to people that you don't need expensive art supplies. Also the fact that you can basically expand your artwork as in make it more different. Make it more something like people would unexpectedly consider you doing and also create something unique create something that you want to expect pe that people actually want to expect you to actually draw or paint or whatever you guys like to do make something that makes other people like say wow you drew this or wow you did this like expand don't just do one little tiny thing I mean, like, yeah, you you draw good, but can you do this, you know? Like, draw something that'll make, or create something that'll make everything something better. Make, to expand your art is what every artist has to do. And... Expanding your artwork is what every artist has to do, as in 
you are not the only one who has to expand their artwork just to get out there, just to get their name out there, just to get known. There's many other artists who have to do that. I mean, I'm not the only one who does that. I mean, there's multiple different artists that do what I do and try to create something different a little bit here and there just to give out a momentum of, like, just to give something out that is more unique in a way. You know? You feeling me? No? Okay. I, I, I'm sad now. I, th I thought I could help. I thought I could help. But, uh, yeah, expanding and, and also you can use, like, cheap art supplies as your backups. As, like, if you run out of a certain color, you can use cheaper art supplies to actually do, like, continue to do more artwork. And not, not a lot of people expect you to use cheap art supplies just to use them as backups, but you can actually use them as backups. So, go ahead and try that out. I mean, I do it all the time. If I need to use my backups, I use my backups. I do it all the time. But... Yeah, I think this is going to be cool because I, I've i never done a challenge before or anything like that. So I decided to go ahead and do this and I think it's coming out really neat. I think it's like interesting how it looks and how it's coming out. And you guys don't have to draw the same thing that I'm drawing. You can draw whatever you want. It's just you have to use cheap art supplies or or stuff like that. And that's what the art supply challenge is. Is that you have to use cheap art supplies and you can also get them at the dollar store. They're cheaper. The dollar store is cheaper so you can either get them at the dollar store or Walmart or wherever. I'm going to add some gray in here just to give it more momentum. Sorry, allergy season is coming up and so my allergies are going haywire at this moment in time. But, uh, I think this will, I think you guys should try it out, honestly. It'll, it'll be really interesting what you guys can create with just simple, with just simple, something simple. I mean, it doesn't have to be hard to use, it doesn't have to be hard at all, but at least you got something that you can keep yourself motivated with. I mean, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to keep myself motivated on, like, artwork. And I might do some more challenges on this. Honestly. Just because this is so much fun and this is a really, like, the most awesomest thing I've ever considered actually trying to do. That and the fact that it looks really cool and 
it's amazing what people come up with when they start figuring out what to draw and they're like oh I like this picture but I don't want to mess it up well you don't have to worry about messing it up you can make a copy and and all that I mean you don't have to mess up just on the original you can make a copy of it if you like it that much and it's really cool on how most of the stuff comes out because then you're like oh I didn't expect it to come out like that and then you're like I actually would like to keep this as an original piece so that's what a lot of people do sometimes they like how certain things come out and they use it as like something they never expected to use it for And I'm just adding extra color just to give it a little bit more depth. It's really interesting how it came out, I mean like, it's coming out so cool, it's coming out really neat, and I think it's really interesting on how it, how it just all comes together, I just think it is interesting how it all comes together, and you don't really have to do much to make it look like a masterpiece when it already is practically a masterpiece. I mean, you don't have to do much to make to create a masterpiece of like something you would like to do, but it's a lot of hard work when you want to create a masterpiece and you want to make it look really good. If you want to make it look really good, it's going to take a lot of work to get to that level of like oh I really like this artist, I want to be like this artist well create something that you like to like to create, not what that other creator likes to create because if you like something and the other person that you admire doesn't like that type of style or that type of stuff then don't worry about it, I mean it's you and do what you like to do don't do what others like to do a lot for like if you're starting out but if you want to create it as a creator you're going to have to like figure it out that eventually that you'll have to actually start off doing something what other people would like for you to draw instead of you just liking what you would like to draw because that's how you're going to start off creating and starting to make that artwork look very spectacular or unique or however you want to comprehend it. But this is just to prove people that it doesn't take many colors or it doesn't take expensive stuff to actually create anything that you want to create. Create what you can create. I mean like do use the stuff that you can use for right now and save up on the stuff that you want to get to expand. Eventually you're going to be able to expand a little bit but try your hardest to just do the stuff that you like to do. I mean it's not that hard to actually do that but you get to create something that you like to do for the momentum of your time. Even though it's good um, practice to draw something that other people like. And all that good stuff. But if you're just now starting out, don't worry about getting all the expensive goody art supplies because you're going to need to learn how to use them properly and 
they're not cheap to get the to get new ones. I mean, you have to learn about the hard way when I started drawing with Copics, but I need to get and I need to get more Copics because my other ones are broken because I didn't know how to use them properly. So the more expensive the the um the art supplies are, the more harder or the more difficult it is to keep them um, like how much I to expand like as in the more difficult it is to keep them um, clean to keep them um, like like to keep them clean and to keep them um, um nice looking and all that and a lot of people do their best to keep their expensive art supplies nicer looking I mean I see people getting Copics all the time it's really difficult to use Copics like they're fun to use it's just that it's difficult to use Copics when you don't know how to use them properly because they break so easily so like the brush ones, the sketch, Copic sketch, they break easily. So it's not good to get the Copic sketches when they break easily when you're just starting out. Learning how to use like um markers or any any supplies, any art supplies. If you're first starting out, you need to learn how to use them before you're able to even go to the next level, which is getting the more expensive ones. And that'll it'll also help train you how to use them properly too. If you look up tutorials on how to use them properly, that helps even more too. So don't feel discouraged if you don't have the most expensive art supplies out there. I mean, I know I want to get the most expensive art supplies out there, but at the same time, I don't have that type of money. So don't worry about getting the most expensive. Just don't worry about it. And now I'm blending in the bottom part of her her leg part and now on to her tie. But, um, yeah, stay creative. Think of ways that you can create different techniques. And you don't have to be afraid of using something else. Like, just test it out. Test out the waters. Try it. As in, like, as in with artwork wise, don't really test out waters in other ways. Because that's really weird in a way. No offense, but it is. But, um, yeah, I think this will be coming out great. And it'll be fantastic to use, as in.
making the picture and creating your own techniques. And not all of you guys can do the same thing that I can do. So, and if you can, then that's practically copying. So, I wouldn't recommend doing that. Um, but, other than that, I think I don't really have much to say about it, except for the fact that I'm practically doing the background of this picture now. But, right now I'm using black, and then I'm going to use gray for the front of this area. And then I'll use my other colors. And you have to press down hard on crayons too, so keep that in mind. If you're using crayons, you might need to press down hard if you want to make it a certain color. And it gives off a waxy touch to it. But from what I heard, it doesn't take long for it to dry and stay on the piece of paper. And I wouldn't mind doing this again, honestly. I wouldn't mind doing this again at all. I mean, this is really cool. This is really fun. And... It also expands my horizon on what I can use or what I can use as my backups and all that good stuff. But, um, yeah. I think this is neat and interesting and cool. And I think it it will be very pretty when it comes out. I think it will be very pretty. And I might most probably do the three marker challenge. If you guys want me to do the three marker challenge, I'm hoping to get at least 10k subscribers. So if you want, guys want to see me do the the um three marker challenge I will be more than happy to do so and I will be doing the ballpoint challenge maybe if I can get to that point of doing so but other than that Right now, I'm finishing up on the background a little bit, and I think that it's coming along great so far. I don't know. Sorry, that's my cat. She's wanting attention. She's been wanting attention. Um... Now, let's see what else I can do. Yay! I'm gonna do this number. I will do it. For the curtains. But, um, using darker shade of a pinkish color, but I'm going to see what name it is. It's violet, red violet. 
too. It's a pretty color though. Very pretty. But oh, I honestly recommend having you guys do this type of thing because that would be really neat if you guys do and if you guys do I would like to see it so if you can you can comment down below if you've done it and show it to me that would be really cool that would be really 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 cool but um yeah I think I'm almost done with this I'm almost done. Finally, you guys are going to be like, yes, finally, be done with this. Most probably. After I'm done with this picture. Uh, I forgot this part of her outfit. But. Yeah. Um, what else should I say about this drawing? Um, what I came, how I came up with this drawing is that I think I was just randomly looking through pictures and I saw this pose and I was like, I want to use this pose, so I decided to go ahead and use this pose just because I felt like it. And that and the fact the main reason why I'm doing the background is because that was, I think it would be cheating if I didn't do a background. I mean it wouldn't be cheating to not do a background if you're not used to doing backgrounds but at the same time I just consider it as cheating a little bit because I do do backgrounds and so I don't want to be cheating on this one at all even though I'm really tired and I really didn't want to do any background, I still decided to do a background for some weird reason. I know we've been there once. We've been so tired that we just felt lazy and didn't want to put backgrounds on anything. Yep. I've been there. I've been there. And I still am there at this point. But, yeah, um, what else can I talk about this drawing? Um, this drawing is actually really interesting, and I think it's very pretty. I think it came out really nice. Now we're going to do the uh, finally um the trees. We're gonna do the trees now. Most probably you guys are like, finally, finally, because I've been taking so long on this one, because of the background. But, yeah, I don't really have much to say about it, but, um... If I were to finish it soon enough, I would know what to say, but I really don't know what else to say at this point, so you guys enjoy, enjoy the rest of the video until I start talking, so enjoy the video.
get to do the background, the official background, one color. Here is the finishing touches to the actual picture. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to get back to you soon. Goodbye!